My point to you is this. Why do you guys get to decide which ideas are okay for a school library? Well, first, I'd like to say that no one is looking to ban books. The Moms for Liberty certainly isn't. You should write the book. You should print the book. You should publish the book. You should sell the book. The book should go into to the public library in your community if taxpayers want to pay for it. Um, and, and so we're not advocating for banning anything. What we're talking about is curating content in a library. You wouldn't have the same books in a medical college that you would in a seminary. And just because a book is printed doesn't mean that it belongs in a children's library. Now, when you say children, what do you mean? I mean public school children, K through 12. Children do not have unfettered access to the internet at school, or movies, or music. But somehow, these books with these horribly explicit graphic content are finding their way onto bookshelves in public schools all over America. Let me ask you something. Uh, Tina, would the book bother you as much if it were uh, a male and a female doing, an, doing uh, animations that are instructional for kids to understand uh, that type of sex relation? So the problem with the books that our chapters across the country have concerns with, Chris, is that they are obscene. They are obscene and they are pornographic. This has nothing to do with if it's male and male, female and female, or male and female. They are obscene and they are pornographic. And you know, Gender Queer is just one of the many books. Here's My Body is Growing, a guide for children four to eight. I could read to you out of this book. It is disgusting. It is, um, it is with a man and a woman, uh, 20 years old. It is, it's not appropriate. This is for ages four to eight. And Kinder, kindergarten through third grade. And it says that Sabrina's vagina becomes moist and warm and Marco's penis gets very stiff. Marco then pushes his penis into Sabrina's vagina, always in and out, that feels great for both of them. It tells you before this that they are unmarried and living together and 20 years old. This is appropriate for four to eight year olds. This is found in grade schools all across the country. So in your opening statement, Chris, you talked about Governor DeSantis and you listed books that Governor DeSantis has said he has concerns with and that what you stated was false. Yeah. We, um, we have of, we've watched Governor DeSantis. We've watched his press conferences on this. Um, nobody in our organization or does Governor DeSantis have any problem with To Kill a Mockingbird or the other books that you mentioned. The books that are concerning to us and that are, uh, that are actually violating the law here in the state of Florida are pornographic and obscene by anybody's standards. First of all, I didn't say your group. Second of all, I didn't even say Governor DeSantis. I'm saying some of the books and the groups that have come under the umbrella of what he's been talking about do want to ban those books. Uh, that's not made up. You should stick to your lane in terms of what your group does. That's why I have you here, because I don't think you're the same as a lot of these other organizations. If I thought you wanted to ban those, I don't think that. you have a very good argument. What I'm saying is there's a difference between K through 3 and up to 12. And then there's a secondary concern, which is... Where does it stop? Which ideas do you guys stop at and get comfortable with? That this bothers you because it's uh, openly pornographic and kids can get it. Okay, but where do you draw the line? And who gets to draw it? Sure. So I think what's happening, what's happening right now, as far as this conversation about book banning, you saw President Biden speaking about it in his re-election campaign video. It's become extremely politicized. And I think there are a lot of people that very much want to try to marginalize moms and dads and villainize us for being concerned about ex extremely explicit content being given to children in schools. Um, it's important that we talk about, you're right, the truth here uh, about the books that are concerning. Moms and dads are getting up at school board meetings and having their mics cut. We can't show these pictures on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter. They get censored. And we couldn't show them on CBS Sunday Morning News. So you ask us, where does the line start or stop? As I said it on the CBS News broadcast, let's set the bar really, really low. Let's just say no pornographic material, no rape, no incest, no pornography. In this book, this gentleman talks about being raped, anally raped by a family member who was an adult. Why was this in an elementary school, in a middle school or a high school for that matter, Chris? Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.